Welcome back to the channel guys and today is a very special day because I am joined by Rocket Jump Ninja, Zai. And yep, you're only going to see a hand in this video but he will bring a big face reveal and it'll be on his channel first and then it'll be on this channel in another video. But today we're going to pick out the best mouse for my hand and Zai certainly has a lot of tips and tricks, actually a plethora of them, in his handy bag. So we're going to get onto it and see which is the best mouse for me in 2017. So here's my current mouse. This is the Logitech G3 and I'm joined by Zai. And now this has been my favorite mouse of all time and it's actually still my favorite mouse in terms of ergonomics. So I've noticed with your channel, you've reviewed over like literally over hundred mouse. What would you recommend as an upgrade for this? I tell you what, right now I don't know. We're gonna find out though. I haven't actually tried the G3 before, but just by feel, I can tell that it's similar to other mice and even ones by Logitech. So I think we should be able to find a new mouse. The one more question I have before we get onto this is that I've tried in the past a G100S and it just hasn't been the same as this. I don't know what it is. Of course, you've got the side buttons here on the G3, which I believe the G100S didn't have, but there was also something a little bit off with the ergonomics. This was just almost perfect. I think it's one of the best fingertip mouse grip I've used in terms of ergonomics, but the G100S just didn't have that same feel. So we're gonna get onto some of those different recommendations I think that Zai has for us now. All right, I'm gonna to need to see your hand first because measurements do matter when it comes to choosing mice. So first of all, you wanna flatten your hand out, keep the fingers on the palm, so you want the thumb flat against that too. Now I'm not gonna do this exact because I'm going to redo this format at some point, but this will give you a general idea of how to actually measure your hand and get the right mouse for you. So first of all, we do the length measurement. Just choose one of these lines, so about there would be okay. And to the top of the middle finger there, so we're looking at about 19 and a half centimeters. You don't have to be exact, just get a close enough measurement. When it comes to the length, that's more about how you grip the mouse. It's not gonna be about how you aim. How you aim is across the hand. So we take the measurement right here against the thumb over to the, let's say the widest part of the hand there. So let's just call that about 10 and a half centimeters. So 19 and a half by 10 and a half. What I've found is you want a mouse that's about 60% of those measurements. That's gonna help you aim best, especially the width one. For grip style, that's all about comfort. So if you've got a long hand, you want a mouse that's gonna be pretty long as well. Two to one ratio is usually about right, but every hand is gonna be different. So try to get one 60% of the measurements. So ideally, you're going to want a mouse that's fairly wide, but that's more for the comfort. And I know a lot of people do prefer smaller mice now, especially for when it comes to aiming. So in theory, you'd probably want a mouse like the Death Adder, which is about six centimeters across here. It's more like 6.1, so very much right for your measurements. But because I know you like smaller mice, I won't be recommending this one. However, if you just came to me and said, I like palm grip, and I want a mouse for these measurements, for your hand size, the Death Adder Elite is probably one of the best ones you can get. But now that I know you like fingertip grip, I'm thinking that you're going to like the FK series or maybe even the ZA12. These mice are a bit smaller than what I'd recommend for you, but if you use them and they're comfortable enough, they should help you aim extremely well. It's actually just a comfort problem with the smaller mice for you because measurements wise, your hand is a bit big for these. And because you like the G3, we can actually find a mouse with similar measurements the G102 from Logitech, Nanox Venator, and maybe even the FK2. I would have said the ZA13, but this is the ZA12, so it's a bit bigger. All right, so after that testing, which one felt right to you? Which one felt more comfortable? 
So this is gonna sound a bit weird, but the G100 or 102, is it? The 102 Prodigy, it, it was good, but it just felt like a little bit off compared to my G3 in terms of the ergonomics. And I'm gonna say there was the FK2, I believe it was. This one just felt amazing. Like it was in another class of its own and I can single it out, even though there's all these mice that look similar to it. This one here was just incredible. It was like, wow, I didn't think I could find a mouse that was like my G3. It was like the ergonomics was so good. Not only that, the accuracy, the flicking. I like something that I can flick extremely well on because I don't do a whole lot of gaming nowadays. I do so much video editing and I'm quickly flicking uh, MP4 files from my timeline to my uh, bin and whatnot. And it's just, it's really good to have a mouse that I can fingertip and I can just move around the whole screen and I actually use mouse acceleration as well uh, in Windows by default. And so I find this is good for gaming. I'm just, I like to flick a lot. And this mouse was easily the best for me, I felt. And now we're gonna quickly talk about comfort. And for me, when I first tried the FK2, it felt the most comfortable out of them all. It was very weird because uh, Zai's measurements predicted that the FK1 should actually be more comfortable. And I don't know what this is. I just, I tried the FK2 off camera before I started testing these mice and I just knew this one would had the best fit for my hand or well, just the way I'm used to doing things maybe and then I tried it on the uh, mouseaccuracy.com and I got the best score maybe there's might be some placebo but I guess I know what I like and this one just stood out so this is an interesting experiment because as he just said this mouse should have been more comfortable FK1 it's larger it's better for his hand size but he did prefer the FK2. Now the key here is that he liked the G3. That mouse size is closer to the FK2, so what he's used to, what's more comfortable, is actually the smaller mouse that he's gonna fingertip grip anyway. So a smaller mouse, easier to move, easier to aim, and actually feels more comfortable to him because of the G3. And the next point is that just because the right mouse for him is the FK2, doesn't mean it would be right for you. You can have a top 10 mouse list and Number 10 might be someone's number one. It really is a personal preference thing. And because he's been using the G3, this size is actually closer to the FK2 size. So he's more used to this size. Therefore, he finds this more comfortable and better to aim right now. He could actually get used to another mouse and maybe then the FK1 would be more comfortable. And that's why his hand measurements would suit this and that will work. But right now he's used to the G3. So the FK2 is the easier choice. So this could actually be your number one mouse too. Revenger S, very good. More for palm, so that's when you actually have your palm resting on the mouse. Claw grip is when you have your fingers up in the claw sort of look. And then fingertip, sort of straight fingers, and it's more just right out into your fingertips. Now one of the most common questions is which is the best sensor? All these mice here, except the G3, have good sensors. So that's why we're focusing so much on shape and feel now, because we've got such good sensors, it's really not that important anymore. So when you're looking at one of the top mice, especially in my top 40, or top 20 even, you want to just look at what's going to be right for your hand size, your grip style, and overall comfort as well. Sensor is not that important anymore. And looking at these sensors, the only ones in the top 10 are pretty much ones that are like the 3360, like in the Cougar Revenger S. That's actually known as the top optical sensor now, and therefore the top sensor on the market that you can get. But because Zowie have such good shapes, even though they're using the 3310 sensor, which isn't as good, people still prefer to buy these mice. The only issue that you're going to find with these is if you tilt the mouse and then slam it down, the 3310 can spin out. That's why we're trying to move to the 3360. It's a lot harder to make that happen on these. So now basically with mice, uh, it really comes down to you at the end of the day. What is best for you? And ultimately, I believe what Zai was telling me was that you can only be the judge of what will be best for you. But I've also got some questions now for him that I'm really curious about. And the first of which is, which is Zai's favorite mouse of all time? The best mouse for me is actually the FK2, which is the same as you. Now your hand size is quite a bit bigger than mine, but still we both prefer the same mouse. So what would be interesting is if they bring out an FK3, even smaller than this, and see if I prefer that. But right now, 
FK2 is the king for me. I can aim extremely well with it. I've got over 19 years playing Quake, and this is the best mouse for me. So now in total's eye, with you reviewing over a hundred different mice on your channel, has a company or have you ever designed uh, a mouse for a company personally, or has a company ever taken all your critiques and sort of made a perfect mouse according to what you've recommended? So first of all, I've actually only reviewed about 90 mice. Oops. But this Cougar Revenger S is actually a mouse that took a lot of my recommendations on from the original version, which was your Revenger, and made them on this one. And I must say, this is why this mouse is actually in the top 10 now. So first of all, they've separated the buttons from the shell. I have heard they haven't done it properly, or most companies don't do it properly. It's only Logitech that do it. So don't quote me on that one just yet. We're still looking into it. They removed a ledge just on the base here, which was causing my thumb to slide up. So now I can actually grip that properly. The Revenger was 111 grams. This one's about 95, 96 grams. And most competitive gamers prefer mice under 100 grams. Again, it's personal preference. If you prefer a heavier mouse, then get that. But most people seem to prefer a mouse under 100. There also used to be some fangs along here, and they used to dig into the mouse pad. So they removed those. They actually made a fair few changes just based on the recommendations from my community and my reviews. Have I actually made a mouse or recommended them to make a mouse in my design or anything? No, but this is the closest we've actually seen that have really listened to the feedback from my community and given us a, an excellent product. So now this will be my final question. Uh, with the Revenger S, uh, it looks like more of a palm gripper's mouse. Now, I do like a palm grip mouse, but it's more for only FPS and certain type of SP FPS, say for instance, sniping in CSGO. Uh, when it comes to flicking, like COD for instance, I like a, a fingertip grip. Uh, but with this, uh, do you use a palm grip mouse personally? And if so, what do you use it for? Or do you like the fingertip grip better than the palm grip? Okay, so interesting story. I was using the Death Adder for five years. And I just realized that I couldn't aim too well. That was in palm grip, of course. So I started trying different mice and I realized that the smaller mice were the ones that I could aim better. And even though the EC2B or EC2A at the time felt amazing in palm grip, as soon as I tried the FK2, it's actually too low. That's about 3.5 centimeters tall. It's too low to really palm grip properly. So I switched to fingertip grip. And ever since then, I've preferred fingertip grip. So you can actually change your grip style. You're not actually locked into one. And it does take some time to get used to. But now I'm always fingertip grip. My aim has improved a lot and it's not just the mouse size. It is actually the grip style. I feel like I have more control with it. So that's about it for me today. Really, that's all the questions I have for Zai. He's answered that and so much more about mice. It's really awesome. I'll put the link in the description below for his channel. Big thanks to Zai for taking his time to come out and help me here today. He does live over an hour away drive, but it's awesome to collaborate with him. And with that said, I'm gonna be making a PC, a whole PC for him. I'm gonna be overclocking it, tuning it, getting Quake Champions running for him as best as possible with FPS. So stay tuned for that. That video will be coming to the channel very shortly. Zyle also have his own take on this PC as well. That'll be on his channel. So look forward to you guys bringing you the awesome content. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And also if you have some questions for Zai, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. Zai does read comments and he's very helpful. He will answer your questions and just really awesome. I've definitely got a new mouse here with the Zowie FK2. Also, let us in, know in the comments section below what mouse do you use personally? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Actually, I have one more question. What do you think of really cheap eBay and AliExpress mice? So I actually haven't tried those yet, but I think they're pretty good for the price if you really want a bad mouse.